Hi, in this tutorial, talk about custom workflow process. Suppose you have some functionality which cannot be achieved through the workflow steps and the workflow process is available in AEM, then you can write your own custom workflow process. Uh, this process will be available inside the drop down of process step. This workflow process does not have its own dialog. So you, if you want to give some input, you can give input through the process step dialog. You can write custom workflow process in the same way how you write other backend modules. You have to implement an interface called workflow process and the same interface work as a service in the at the rate component annotation. The one property is important here that is process dot label. So whatever label you define here that this will be available inside the drop down of process step. Rest of the other two properties are not mandatory. These are the generic one you can use in any other backend module as well. But this is important. Okay. Uh, once you implement that workflow process interface, then you have to implement a method called execute. This method has three uh, parameters, workflow item, session and metadata map. I'll talk about these three parameters in detail. So I have written a workflow process, custom workflow process by implementing a workflow process and it has an execute method and process.label is geeks workflow process. So as soon as I deploy this, a process will be available inside the drop down of process step. So first let me build it and let me show you. So this is the model I have created for the past two tutorials. In that same model, let's use a process step. So this is my process step. If I see there, they should be in this drop down in the processes. In this drop down, there should be another process with name Geeks Workflow Process. So you will be seeing here the Geeks Workflow Process is available inside the process step. So I will choose this. If you want to give some information to this process, then you have to use this arguments because it does not have its own dialogue because it's a process, just a backend implementation. Now let's talk about these parameters, this workflow session. This session is available to perform all your actions. And you will be using this workflow session to get any other object. For example, suppose you need a resource resolver in this work, uh, workflow process. So in other backend module, you use system user to get resource resolver. But this is the exception. In this case, you have to use workflow session to get resource resolver or any other object you need in this workflow process. You can just use workflow session dot adapt to and that object. So suppose if you need resource resolver or the GCR session, you should get it from this workflow session. Session. You should not inject any other custom object in workflow process. This metadata map basically if you pass any information or in to the dialog this that dialog value will be available through this metadata map this process argument if you see here if you come here and you pass some information in this argument so this argument uh, information in this dialog you can get it through this metadata map okay this now this workflow item this is very important let's focus on this diagram to understand workflow item suppose you have a process and inside that process you use this custom workflow process your process will not be alone in your model so in that case you will have some process steps before this and also you will be having some steps after this so there will be some information and payload which will be flowing from the starting of your model or the workflow till end suppose your model or the workflow started here and it says some step one and it will have step three right so that when your workflow started some information or the payload will be flowing from starting of the workflow to end of the workflow so that payload and the other information which is flowing from starting of workflow to end of the workflow that should be available in your process step means that information should be available in your this in this process means this execute method so the whole information and payload whatever you need that information will be available inside this workflow item object and it will flow from starting to end so apart from the payload it has other information as well that you need you can pass on your uh, custom information as well to next step so whatever the information available in process step that will be available to this process your custom workflow process through this workflow item and if you want to pass on some additional information to next step you can add to that information 
to this workflow item object by itself by default it will be keep adding the important information itself as well but you can add your custom information as well so we'll see this in this demo so first i'll show you how you can get the dialogue argument so in this process step dialogue i will add a property called or the string called approver is equal to geeks but rather than i use one i'll use two okay i'll use one more so let me sync it first and let's add one more before this so i have added let me configure this and approver one so I added a one more which is the title is approver one and inside that I choose this geeks workflow process advanced handler and I did a proper or string approver one colon is equal to sunil select and the later one again I add a two let me add two and just add a property called approver two approver two select sync so what I'll do I'll apply this uh, this workflow model to a page inside that page I'll get these properties or whatever I added there and I'll add that to the page properties so that is the use case okay in this use case you will understand how to get those dialog properties and how to add that uh, in page or in the payload so you will be seeing here from this workflow item object I'm getting this workflow data this I'm getting workflow data and from this workflow data I'm getting this first is the payload if you see here I'm getting from this workflow I'm getting payload right this payload from the get payload and from this session as I told you to add these properties I need a JCR session so what the JCR session I'm getting from this workflow session as I told you you should not inject your or any of the object you should use this workflow session to get any other object so I what I'm doing here I'm just doing adapt to and the JCR session right so in this line number 39 what I'm getting I'm getting a payload and then payload basically the payload will be the path of your page and then I'm getting the JCR content node right and then this node I'm converting this path means the path till JCR content I'm converting that in node JCR node using get item session dot get item okay till here I got the node means the JCR content node now I'm what I'm doing I'm getting this the dialogue properties and the name of that property is prop process underscore args so what I'm doing I'm getting it and then I'm splitting this based on the comma so if you have multiple strings added by separated by comma those will be available inside this string uh, array string this is a Java right and then I'm again splitting that based on the color because if you see here I pass the property separated by colon so the same thing I'm getting here in this loop and then what I'm doing I'm just adding these properties inside that node means the JCR content node what I got here right so once this workflow will be execute so it will take these properties and add in JCR content so let's see let me build it okay so build has been successful now let's don't forget to sync it so now let's start this workflow on some page by passing values just run it so what happened first it using this it will create a property called approver one is equal to something and then it will create a version of that page and again it will create another property called approver two so this workflow has been run and let's see so this workflow has just completed whatever you see in the first line now let's go back to this page and see whether the property has been added or not so I went to CRX uh, this card page go to the card page and then JCR content so if you see here the two property has been added approver one is equal to Sunil and approver two is equal to geeks so those has been added because of this right whatever we added so now let's see what other information this workflow item provide so this will provide you any additional information you need or whatever the information is flowing from starting to end so you can get from this workflow uh, this workflow item you can get a uh, workflow get workflow workflow and then workflow 
data and then workflow metadata map you can directly get the workflow data as well so there is a methods available now you have all the information in this metadata map now let me show you let me just display this information in log so you will understand what is happening so i'm um, if you see here i got this workflow uh, metadata map and I'm just printing all the information available in this metadata map but before I work let me print a separator so that you will see this line in logs and you will understand when this whole method executed so let me build it so build has been done let me run this whole workflow again on some page start workflow you just run this workflow so workflow has been completed now you should see uh, this first it will execute twice right first for this step and second for this step and what are the information will be there in that workflow item metadata that will be printed in the logs okay you will see in logs this has been executed twice because you see this line twice the first time when it executed you will see some information here like keys means uh, workflow title job and start commit so the three information is available but when you see again you will see one more information called version right and version is 1.0 so we did not add this information so from where it came so if you go to this model you will see first it will execute it for this when the version was not there but this create version step created a version and that information added to this workflow item means the metadata even we did not add that so when it executed here the second time at that time it print that version information as well so it is saying okay one version has been created for this page so that means you don't need to add any information which is needed but you can add your own information as well so let me show you one more time and add that prop properties as well to this metadata okay so let me add this before this loop so that this metadata is available while running loop and now in this metadata let me add these two properties as well apart from adding in the node so i added in this metadata are added properties and value that means apart from the existing information we are adding our own custom information as well this information will be passed on to next step now let me build it now run this workflow one more time on some other page okay now let me run by giving title and the comment so if i run it it has been executed now let's see what printed in logs so you will see here now let me just separate this so this executed once even if you see it contain the title as well what title we gave when running it title and it added a property because in the first process custom process i add a approver one is equal to this sunil and the second time when it executed it has this property means this value what we intentionally added as well as the version which created and the approval too as well which added in the process the second time being executed so in that way you can add on your information as well if you need suppose you need some information to your successor uh, process, uh, step you can add on in this way i hope you understood this custom workflow process if you have any question please do comment thank you